Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I am the makeup bug. Um, yeah, this is going to be my first tutorial on a spring inspired makeup. I know we're kind of going more towards summer, so I would totally rock this for summer. It's just a bright pink lip with a neutral kind of smoky by the lash line look. I think this will work really well on like, of course, complexions that are darker, but I think if lighter complexions did it but with more of a pale pink with the same eye, I think it would look beautiful. I think this would be really nice for a night out with the girls, or you can even simplistic this with the same eye but with a nude lip. So it's very versatile, it will work with a lot of skin tones, I think, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime the face so the makeup can last longer and I'm going to use this one by The Body Shop. It helps minimize your pores and helps smooth out fine lines and it has this really refreshing smell. I think it really hydrates the face and just gives it a nice lift and boost. Next, I'm going to go with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Personally, I have extremely oily eyelids, so I like to use extra primer just to make sure everything's fine. If I use a little too little, the oil will break through the primer and my eyeshadow will be a oily mess at the end of the day. Next, I'm going to go in my Rose Bud Lip Balm and I like to lather this stuff on because it just feels really nourishing and moisturizing and it really just hydrates and it just feels really nice on the lips. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my BB Cream by Smashbox in the color Medium and I'm just going to apply this all over the face. It gives this really nice airbrush, hmm, I can't say airbrush, it gives you a really nice coverage but it still has some of your imperfections showing through. I think it gives this like nice luminosity to the face and it has a lot of the benefits your skin needs and it gets rid of all my redness so I prefer this during the summer months because it's really lightweight to the face. For highlighting underneath the eyes I like to use my MAC Pro Longwear NC 45 and I like just to blend that out. Just like that, I'm going to use my Essence Matte Powder and I'm going to use that on a Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm going to tap off the excess because this bad boy has a lot of excess. And I'm going to set the under eye. I tend to go overboard with my powder just to make sure everything is set, but I prefer it to be set rather than, you know, creasing. Using this on the bridge of my nose and like the t-zone area because it really does help me stay matte all day so using this on my t-zone area really does help next i'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and i'm just going to knock off any of the excess powder so just lightly sweeping off that excess powder so it doesn't cake up during the day to help like bronze and set the rest of my makeup, I like to use this MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC50 and it just uses on a big fluffy brush just to kind of bronze because this color is a little darker for my skin but I like to use it. On this blush brush, I like to use this blush called Beach Please by Be A Bombshell and it is this hot fuchsia pink color but it looks super natural on the skin. It is highly pigmented, as you can see here. On camera, it looks so much more pigmented than real life, but in person, it gives you this really nice flush color. It's like you're blushing.
For highlighter, I'm going to use Superb by MAC. This was limited edition, sorry, but I'm going to use this on E. Little mini fluffy brush and use this on the high points of my cheek, down the bridge of my nose, on my cheek as well, and a teeny bit on my chin. For the eyes, I'm going to go in with this MAC pigment in Naked, just as a base. And I'm going to go with my Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy and just use this dry. You can also use this wet, but I think the sparkles in this dry is beautiful. Now make sure you watch out for fallout because there will be fallout. Sparkles all over the place. Make sure you keep this under the crease, of course blend out some of that sparkle, but keep this under the crease so your eyes don't tend to look like a disco ball. Ooh, pretty sheen. <laughs> now to align the eyelids, I'm going to use Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Perversion. It's just a really dark creamy black. And I'm going to line this right against the lash line to help define them and to smoke it out later on. Using this angle brush, I'm just going to go by the lash line and move the brush back and forth, kind of flicking out that eyeliner as well, but also smoking that black out. It looks really pretty against the sparkles. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and use that dark brown color and I'm going to line the lower lash line. This really does pull the look together. This is a really pigmented brown and I think it just works well with the black. You can also use the black on the bottom lash line but I feel like this makes it less heavy. Now I'm going to take the lighter brown and the darker brown and mix them together. I don't want too much of a defined crease, I just want a little bit of depth. So mixing the two together make the perfect crease color. Now I'm going to go on with the Urban Decay eyeliner. It's fairly new I believe and I'm just going to line the lash line. Since we smoked out that eyeliner, the intensity by the lash line has faded so you really want that dark lash line. Now I'm going to go in and curl my eyelashes. I personally have straight eyelashes so curling them makes a big difference. If you have curly eyelashes, you are welcome to skip this step, but I like to hold my eyelash curler there for quite a bit of time because my eyelashes do fall during the day, so just curling them makes my eyes look much more awake and brighter. Using this itty bitty what's up highlighter from Benefit, I believe we got this as a birthday gift last year from Sephora and I'm just going to pop this into the inner corner and that little V tear duct just to brighten up the eyes and this has just been my favorite highlighter to brighten the inner corners. For mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit They're Real. <laughs> so tiny, but I didn't know if I should buy just the big one, so I tried the little one, and I love it. For lining the lips, I'm going to use Maybelline's Nude Lip Liner. Any lip liner will work, just it's a good base to have to keep the lipstick to last longer. Now for the lip color, I'm going to use Girl About Town. It is a hot pink color. It is very, very beautiful during the spring springtime. I think it just screams spring. Wake up to the sound of your fleeting heart. 
So there we have it. This is the final look. I think this is personally beautiful for springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys liked. Thanks. Bye.